guys, it's Mike from Indie Development, and we're going to take a look at uh, our introduction series to uh, WPF. What we're going to do here is we're going to make just a, a simple card game, and we're going to try to show off some different features that you can do in WPF, give you some examples of, of multiple things here. So you'll see um, we got this basic window that's going to come up with three buttons. It's going to be our main menu, and you'll see that when we hover these, uh, they have a, a different style when you go over them. We're going to do all that customized. Um, and this this card game is not going to be a, like the exact war card game that's out there. I know there's multiple forms of it. This is just going to be you know down and dirty basic version of that. Uh, basically, you'll play one card, and if you beat uh, the other card is drawn, then you'll win. If you tie, then you can keep going until somebody wins. So what we're going to do is this one will start a new game. This one right here is going to show any rules. I'm going to leave this one blank so that once you guys are finished you can add whatever rules you're going to have there but you'll just simply click that and it'll open up your rules section so you'll see when we click we have another type of style which we're going to make as well um, and of course this exits the game so if we go ahead and click new game you're going to see that we come to our, our game board here and we're going to have some set of four images going up and down and then we're going to have uh, some buttons at the bottom here now i left these overlapping a little bit just so i can show you guys how we're going to make these styles and they're actually kind of transparent so you could fade colors in between them. So we have that. You'll see this is another uh, type of style that we're going to make towards, you know, it's disabled so it's going to be red. So it can't be clicked. Um, you know, we're going to deal with text which is, you know, pretty simple. So what will happen when we click start game here, we're going to, you're going to see a little window that's going to pop up. That's going to have no border or anything. It's going to have a, a simple animation in it. I want to show you guys uh, one way to do animations in WPF, and it's actually going to have a, a message beside it saying shuffling cards. And once it completes so many cycles of animation, it's going to click off. If we weren't, you know, if we didn't have that delay in it, it would be uh, it would disappear so quick you wouldn't be able to see it. So we'll click start game. And you'll see here that it's going to just play that card animation. Now we have our cards here. So now we can actually click since it's going to be our turn to start. We'll go ahead and do that. Now as soon as we click, we're going to play. It's going to take whatever cards on the top of your deck here and display it where we can actually see what it is. And then the computer is going to play. If we tie, we won't see a results window over here. But if one of us wins, uh, then we'll see the results window. And we've actually put a timer on that, so you can uh, you don't have to click the close button on each time. It'll start at three and it'll count down. Uh, you'll see that and it'll update the button as well. So I wanted to show a little bit of how to use timers in WPF. So if we just click this. You'll see we won with the queen, and it might have went too fast there, but you can see. Okay, now we tied. Um, so now there's two sixes down. Now if the computer would have went first, it would have played so fast, it would have looked like it wasn't a tie. Um, I'm going to leave that to you guys if you want to like off-center the ones behind it so you can actually see there's more than one card laying down. That's cool. Uh, whatever you guys want to do there. So if we play again, you should see over here when the results window comes up that it's going to show... Um, the cards that were won, whether it be us or the computer that wins them. So go ahead and click again. So you'll see we, we won. It's showing both these cards here. And we'll put it back into our deck. Now once we shuffle, we'll have those cards to play. So if we click one more time here, you'll see it start, it's count down here. And once it counts down, it closes out. So if we click through this real quick, until we run out of cards. You know, you guys can do some different things. Um, if you want to put indicators here, whose turn it is, uh, if you want to make this multiplayer or whatever. Okay, so he, right here is an example of two fives were played, but it was computer's turn first, so he played so quick you couldn't see that. So we'll play again, and you'll see that he won, so it's a five and a four going up to him. So let's keep clicking through here. Now you see the computer's out of cards, so as soon as we play this next turn, uh, when it's the computer's turn, he will shuffle. Okay, so we won, so it'll be our turn first, so you see we can't click, and it looks like the game's um, out, but that's because both people are out of cards. So if we click shuffle, shuffle the player's cards. Now when we play, the computer's going to realize he has no cards and needs to shuffle, and it'll come up. So you see it's shuffling the computer's cards now. And it looks like he won that one. But just a simple introduction to the, uh, what we're going to be doing, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. If you do want to make your own play cards, um, the dimensions are 92 by 125. Uh, mine are in a PNG format, so we've got some transparency. 
if you guys um, want to use the cards that I've made, I will provide those on the website as we go along. Um, anything that we put in here, I will provide on the website. So if you want to make your own custom stuff, I'll tell you the dimensions and everything like that so you can do that. If not, feel free to just uh, use what I make. All right, thanks, guys. See you soon.